Today we're gonna to be making a keto-friendly pulled pork taco. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making the Keto Connect Tortillas. Now this is such an amazing recipe. I absolutely love it. They turn out perfectly every time and they are light and airy and just delicious. <laughs> but we're gonna need some toppings to go on there. So I am gonna show you how I make a sous vide pork shoulder. And this is such a handy tool to have. Now, if you are unfamiliar with a sous vide cooker, what it is, is it's a heater element that you put in a water bath and then you add your vacuum sealed meat and the heater element cooks your meat to the perfect internal temperature. So you end up with this delish, delicious, can't even talk, my mouth is watering, <laughs> delicious meat that is perfect every single time. So I've had a pork shoulder cooking for two days using the sous vide method and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here's how we use our sous vide cooker. Now this is a hot water bath and we are going to run it at 65 degrees for two days. So there is going to be some heat and humidity that we want to keep contained. So what we've done is we've just bought a cooler, cut a hole in the top, and added our sous vide cooker in. So we put our meat in the hot water bath for two days and forget about it and come back to perfect pulled pork. <laughs> now this doesn't look very good right now but just you wait. Before I did the sous vide on this, I added salt, pepper, and a bay leaf. So, super simple. This meat is so unbelievably tender. It just falls right apart. And you don't really even need to add much to it for seasoning. What I do is just put it in a pan and fry it with a little bit of hot sauce, and then it's ready to go for your tacos. What I usually do is break it apart and put it into a bag throw it in the fridge, and then I can take out what I need for meals. But this time what I'm going to do is break it apart, throw it in the bag and put it in the cooler and take it camping. So the assembly of the taco is going to happen camping. If you don't have a sous vide cooker, no worries. What I'd recommend is you put your pork shoulder in a slow cooker for eight hours on low. I just add a little bit of salt, pepper, a bay leaf, and then a splash of apple cider vinegar and it turns out really well. Now to make the Keto Connect tortilla recipe. I won't spend too much time describing it because Keto Connect has done such an amazing job. I will leave the link to that video in the description. But just to summarize what I have here, I have eight egg whites, a third cup of coconut flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika, and then Keto Connect recommends to add 10 tablespoons of water. I've added 16. So let's get to making them. Let me share with you my little theory on how to make these tortillas look beautiful every time. Now, let's use one as an example. So you will see that one side looks so beautiful, but then the other side looks kind of a little bit meh. So how can you make them both look good? Well, what I've found is I take my coconut oil, I spray the pan, I add the batter, I lift the tortilla, I spray again, and then I flip. And so it looks really good on both sides. That seems to be the system that works for me. So let me know if it works for you. Now that we're out here camping, let's put it all together. Some shredded cheese, piece of avocado, a little bit of salsa, dollop of sour cream, 
onions, an optional jalapeno. This is messy, but absolutely delicious. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. I'm gonna get to enjoy more of these. Have a great weekend, everyone.